Dr. Max. What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I have for you a really awesome theory video regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. And in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Shadows of Evil map, and connecting this map alongside future Black Ops 3 Zombie DLC maps with a mythological creature known as Cthulhu. Now guys, before I jump right into the details of this theory, let's try to smash it over 300 likes on today's video, and if we manage to do that, I will be sure to bring you guys an additional Black Ops 3 Zombies video later today, and I can assure you guys that you do not want to miss this video, as something absolutely huge was recently discovered, and like I said, 300 likes and I will do my best to bring you guys this video ASAP, but with all of that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, so over the past couple of days, a mythological creature by the name of Cthulhu has recently surfaced within the Zombies community, and a lot of people have actually found ties to Cthulhu with the Shadows of Evil map, and hopefully all of the future DLC maps to come. Now for those of you who have absolutely no idea who or what Cthulhu is, I'm going to do my best to describe him and break him down just a little bit, but basically Cthulhu is this god, Cthulhu is a deity, who was created by an author or a writer known as H.P. Lovecraft in the early 1900s and the 1920s time era. Now Cthulhu is a gigantic entity worshipped by cultists, and Cthulhu's anatomy is described as part octopus, part man, and part dragon. Now the legend goes that Cthulhu is currently lurking in the depths of the ocean somewhere, like I said he's part octopus, part man, and part dragon, and he's just lurking in the ocean waiting to be called up by someone via a revival process, whether that be a spiritual calling or some sort of ritual, he's just waiting there so he can then again walk the earth and conquer not only the sea but the land and the air. Now like I said earlier, this mythological creature was created in the 1920s time era in the year 1926 to be exact, and that's actually going to play a vital role in our overall storyline for not only Shadows of Evil, but also a Mob of the Dead. Now I know that I'm kind of all over the place, but please bear with me. For those of you who don't know, it has been confirmed that the Mob of the Dead storyline is in fact connected and does correlate to the Shadows of Evil storyline in Black Ops 3, and like I said, the Mob of the Dead storyline takes place in the 19th 1930s time era, I believe in 1931, whereas the Shadows of Evil storyline takes place in the 1940s time era, and like I said earlier, Cthulhu was thought up in the 1920s time era, so we have this mythological creature being thought up in the 20s, Mob of the Dead takes place in the 30s, and then Shadows of Evil takes place in the 40s. Just something that I thought should be noted, but as we move on within this trailer, we come to see our next boss zombie for Shadows of Evil, and as you guys can see, we have this three-headed creature, and some people are actually depicting this as Cthulhu because as you guys can see we have this other depiction or this other representation of what Cthulhu could possibly look like and as you guys can see this image is a three-headed monster and as you guys can see we have the teeth and all of this looks very very similar to our boss zombie that can be seen in the Shadows of Evil map and as you guys can see with this Shadows of Evil zombie boss it also has the tentacles and like I said that goes along very very swimmingly with the Cthulhu creature. Now as we continue on within this gameplay trailer, we come to this one scene that you guys will see in just a second, and in this scene we have a room, we also have this table, and on the ground there's actually a pentagram that can be seen, and it's coming up right now, and as you guys can see we do have that room, the pentagram, and all of a sudden this man appears from this book or this box out of mid-air. Now going back to the symbol found on the ground, like I said, it looks very much like a pentagram, but at the same time, this symbol also looks like another symbol that can also be associated with Cthulhu himself, as you guys can see on screen right now. So that's really, really crazy, something that I thought that should be noted. Not to mention, like I said earlier, Cthulhu is in the depths of the ocean, waiting to be summoned by some sort of revival process or ritual, and going on in this scene right now appears to be a ritual or some sort of revival service. I don't know guys, this looks really, really crazy, and all of these things are leading me to believe that Cthulhu will have something to do with either the Shadows of Evil map or a future DLC. 
Not only that, but on the desk in this room where this ritual is taking place, we have this octopus head that looks very, very similar to that of Cthulhu. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. And one final thing that I wanted to say is because Cthulhu is living in the depths of the ocean, it is very possible that in a future Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC map, we could be visiting an underwater map known as Atlantis. Guys, that is it for today's video. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below. What do you guys think of Cthulhu and what do you guys think about his connection to the Shadows of Evil map and the future DLC maps to come? Leave a like and subscribe so you never miss a future Black Ops 3 video uploaded here on my channel. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until next time guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.